good morning guys is it still morning good afternoon it's 12. welcome back to another weekly vlog we are in elliott city maryland right now it's saturday we're trying to find parking it's like this really old town um like super old Bradley booked us a pottery making class, so we're gonna go do that today. I'm excited, I've never done it before. I hope it's like one of those spin wheel ones. Is that what it is, babe? I have no idea, I'm gonna be honest. We don't really know, but. Oh, my camera's blurry. Um, yeah, I'm excited. And then he has to go get a haircut, and we don't know what we're doing for the rest of the day, so. I also don't know how much I can film in the class, but I'll try to get at least something on my phone. If anything, so yeah. This is so, I feel like my mom would love it here. I think she would appreciate she it. She would really appreciate this, cause she likes like old. Oh look, a chocolatier. She would definitely appreciate that. <laughs> Anyways guys. Oh. Oh. I will see you at the pottery club oh the place is called the clay ground so if you've heard of it if not i will link it below <laughs> guys so it's a little bit later as you saw we just finished doing the pottery class it was literally so much fun um i didn't take out my vlogging camera just because there's other people in there there was like a couple kids in there so i don't know i just didn't want it to be distracting and it was a smaller studio but it was so much fun like i learned a ton about like pottery making and just like all the techniques super thorough um i highly recommend that class um I'll try and see if there's any like promotions or anything like that um, so you guys can check it out if you're in the area but literally highly recommend if you're into like I don't know just trying new things or like arts and craftsy things if not or just like if you want if you've been interested in like wanting to try a pottery class I don't know it's just really fun but yeah and then we went to this little popcorn shop it's called Doc Taylor's Toy Emporium and I got some caramel popcorn and got some caramel popcorn with pecans for my mom because she loves that. And then Bradley got these like, you know, those like little hot pecans. Clearly we like, we like pecans over here, but pecans, 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 whatever. However you say it. Um, but yeah, I, Bradley's inside. He's at the barber right now. He is getting a quick haircut. I decided to lay in the car and take a nap because I just got really sleepy from all the sugar and like we had to hike up a hill to like get back to the car and it was hot. It's like 80 degrees out today. Okay, it's 75. But still, I'm not just not used to the heat like I used to be when I lived in Florida. Um, but yeah, we don't have much planned for the rest of the day. Um, there is a day party that some people were talking about going to, but yeah, that's probably not going to happen. Actually, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Um, but I think from here, we're just going to go home. We're only in Bowie, Maryland right now. So we're probably just going to head home. Um, I need to edit the vlog that I filmed before this. So I might work on that if I have some energy or maybe we can stop and get a shot of espresso because girl <laughs> i don't know what is happening i cannot hang like i used to hang um but i did want to just like since i have time bradley's still in there um i just want to like chat with you guys a little bit about some things i've been like just like thinking about i feel like i touched on it a little bit in my last vlog if you watch that if not watch like towards the end um when we're in the car um 
But yeah, we've just been doing like a lot of thinking about like what we want out of life and like what the next few years are going to look like for us. And I feel like we're on the same page, Bradley and I, about like what like what we really want out of the next few few years of our lives. I'm only 28. Um he's 27. But like we're still fairly young, but we like we don't always feel young. I don't know if any of you guys can relate to that. Like we just don't always feel as young as we are just because we're in that like work mode um schedule like nine to five kind of like lifestyle right now and sometimes the city especially like Washington DC area it there's a lot to do don't get me wrong it just doesn't always feel as like I don't want to use the word lively because it is a lively city it just doesn't feel as relaxed if that I think relax is a better word it just sometimes it just feels uptight like when you are out and about everyone's very like professional for the most part like it's it can just feel a little bit uptight like we're right we live like right by the pentagon we're fairly like in a in a pretty like I don't know high security area um, so it just feels, I don't know how to explain it, but we know what it feels like to be in an area that's like more relaxed. Um, we felt that a lot in Europe. We've even talked about like just living abroad for like months at a time, like getting away. Excuse me. Um, we do plan on doing a ton of traveling next year. Um, I want to go to Greece next year and I want to go to Portugal next year. Those are like top of my list, I think. I feel like there was another place too. I want to go to, um, I want to go back to France. I also want to go to, what's that country? Dang, what is it called? Oh, I literally can't think of it now. Hold on, I have it written in my notes. I want to go to Luxembourg, which is a country in Europe as well. Um, and they say it's like the DC of Europe. I don't know if you've heard of it. Um, I don't think it's as popular for like tourism. I don't, I'm actually not sure. Don't quote me. But yeah, I just, I've been like on this like travel. I have a travel bug so bad. Um, and yeah i just want like more excitement i want more adventure out of life like i that is honestly why i became a travel therapist was just because i can't do like you know the regular like working what three three sixty three three hundred and forty days out of the year whatever people do and they have like not even a week of vacation time or whatever they have like a week off or they or they only have like whew, sorry, a limited amount of like vacation days or a limited amount of like um limited amount of like sick days and they have to use those days as their vacation and everything is just so limited like you can't just like up and leave and I just want to be able to say listen I'm gonna go on a trip and still be able to make money like still be able to somewhat fund these trips but I also just don't want to be like irresponsible either. You know what I mean? Like it's just hard because I went to school for so many years for this career and it's not that I want to like completely drop it. Like I don't want to completely just like stop physical therapy. I just don't see myself doing it to the capacity of like what I see people doing it. Um, sorry. I thought that was Bradley. Um, I just, can't see myself doing it like forever <laughs> if that makes sense like I just know that there's so much to see in life and like I just don't want to get comfortable and like stuck I guess so anyways I feel like I'm railing but I have to say we've just been like plotting oh there he is and try to figure out our next move so let's Hello. see the hair You got the little white line still too. Looks really good, babe. That was fast too. I did take like a quick little nap. 
Yeah, I thought you were going to be sleeping. I thought we were going to bang the window or something. And there was too much noise. I kept getting, like, woken up by things. But I was just telling the vlog, like, how we've been plotting our next move. Yeah, trying to. Trying to, yeah. Not sure what the next move is oh, quite yet. Dang, he got real close. But it's going to be something. Something very soon. Are we heading home? Yeah, unless you want to make a stop somewhere. Okay, I don't really have service. So I, know. I, know I know there's no service. Direction to head to. All right, well, I've been rambling, so I'll catch you guys a little later. You did her ears? No. Oh. I can help out later with it. No, I don't need help. I, I just saw it out, so I thought.
to Georgia, back to Atlanta Money, how brothers and turn past I'm a fly Priscilla, I'll just be better Don't mess my eyes, but that ass The way she moves it, I can tell that she loves me A nigga can't help but to touch Smack it round a bit, then sip on some bubbly Hope I'm not doing too much Strange new additions, pick up on the wall Change my opinion, and change all my flaws Change my approach, no more Loving these hoes and when it rains, it pours hey. You make me feel so primal and That's why the end I'm just a man So before my camera dies, I really like the rug, but now I'm just contemplating whether or not it's like too much going on with the pillows and the black. But it is a nice little pop of color. It kind of goes with like these and it's so dusty here now. Like these pots and stuff that we have. So yeah, I'm sure I'll get used to it. I think the only pillow that's really like too flashy is that, but yeah, definitely spices it up. And it's so cozy. And it is, right, Mama? You like it? Yeah. You're never gonna lay in your bed anymore, huh? <laughs> hey guys, happy Friday. I look exhausted because I went to sleep right when I got home from work. But anyways, I'm at Nordstrom. I'm vlogging from my phone because I didn't want to bring my camera. But we have a birthday party to go to tonight, so we're going to karaoke. And I wanted to show you guys some of the clothes I want to try on. So here we have the Skims bodysuit. But I'm probably not going to try this on because I know it's going to fit and I don't need to. But I got some pants that I want to show you guys. And hopefully they fit. They are halogen. So, yeah, and they were on the sale rack, so we're going to try on some leather pants. I've never tried on leather pants before, so let's see. Okay, so here's the first pair. This is size 10. Yeah, 10, I believe. And they're actually not so bad. This is Skims Top, by the way. I think it's the Fits Everybody collection. But it actually, actually fit pretty nice. Here's the back. Ooh. There's marks on them. I wonder if that's why they're on sale. Hmm. These are actually cute. Here are the second ones. Hey, what's up guys? So I have been a horrible vlogger, to be honest. Um, I feel like last you saw me, we were on the trolley tour, I think. I have so much to update you guys on. Um, I wanted to show you guys some new purchases I made, but I think I might just save that for a different vlog. Um, just cause like, it's been a hectic few days. Um, 
it's actually Mother's Day because it's midnight, so it's technically Mother's Day today. We're going to Philly, so my next vlog is going to be um, a Philly vlog, which I'm really excited about. Um, but yeah, today we just got our stuff together. We So last night we had a birthday at karaoke, which you guys saw clips of. And then we ended up going to sleep at like 2 a.m. and had to wake up um, at 6 this morning. So I'm exhausted. We slept after we got home from Baltimore. It was like a two-hour drive home from Baltimore, which is insane. Um, and then I've been editing the last vlog, which I'm going to try to get up maybe today when I get home from Philly or... Monday morning because I took the day off from work since it's my mom's birthday. So it's literally Mother's Day and my mom's birthday back to back. Um, but yeah, I got some cool pieces from Skims I wanted to show you guys. I got a new bag. Um, my second ever like designer-ish bag that I'll have to show you guys in a different vlog. And then I got some new Jordan. Um, well, they're dunks, but um, we won a raffle on the sneakers app and I wanted to show you guys those sneakers as well but that'll probably be like a different vlog where I'll just show you guys like some of my new like favorite um clothing pieces and stuff like that so I'll save that but yeah it's like I said it's past midnight and we have to wake up early again because we're getting picked up at 7 30 to head to Philly it's like a three-hour drive so I need to start that vlog in the morning I just finished any my last vlog, so I appreciate you guys' patience if you've been watching. I love you so much. I really, really appreciate you and your support. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment so we can chat. And yeah, I'll see you guys in Philly. So excited. Bye. See you in the next one.